enjoy the ride with Crystal Petrie. Hello, my name is Crystal Petrie and you are watching the Crystal Petrie Consulting Network. Today we're going to dive into the purpose of nonprofit boards and committees. If you are interested in an entire workshop on this very important subject, please contact me on my website at CAP etryllc.com. I will also provide the link in the description box. Now, let's get to it. The purpose of a nonprofit board and committee is to set policy and make major decisions. The entire board, as the governing body, is responsible for the nonprofit organization and its activities. The board and the committee also helps to evaluate the nonprofit's progress towards strategic goals and initiatives. Basically, the purpose of a nonprofit board and committee is to make sure that the nonprofit as a whole is succeeding in the community that it serves. If the goal of your nonprofit is to educate teenagers about unexpected pregnancies, then the goal of your board is to make sure that the education is readily available and accessible to teenagers, female and male. So whatever the mission is for your nonprofit, the goal of your board and committee is to make sure that your nonprofit reaches success in the community that it serves. Two major responsibilities of a nonprofit board and committee is to keep the nonprofit on a mission and to advocate for the nonprofit in the community. First, it is very easy for a nonprofit organization or a for profit organization to get off of its mission. It's so easy to see that there are so many other areas where people need help or the community as a whole needs help. But it has been said that sometimes it's impossible to try and help everyone because you end up not helping anyone. So one of the major responsibilities of a nonprofit board is to make sure that that nonprofit stays on the specific mission of that nonprofit organization. The second major responsibility of a nonprofit board is to advocate for that nonprofit in the community. That means going to civic groups, going to social groups, going to chamber of commerce, going to school board meetings, going to PTA meetings. I mean, I'm sure you get the point, but the goal of the nonprofit board and committee is to be out in the community advocating for that nonprofit organization to tell good stories and good things about the works that the nonprofit organization is doing. And this is very important because a lot of times the actual people who are working in the nonprofit does not have the time or ability to also go out in the community and advocate for the nonprofit. So the need for the advisory board to do this is imperative. And as we are talking about nonprofit boards and committees, it is very important that I stress the need for diversity and inclusion on nonprofit boards and committees. Leadership should reflect the community that it is serving. And that means diversity within that nonprofit board and committee. That could be people of color. That could be people with mental health. That could be people with physical disabilities. But 
it is absolutely imperative that that nonprofit organization and the nonprofit board is diverse and inclusive. One of the most important things that needs to be written in the nonprofit board bylaws is the need for diversity in your mission statement, vision statement, and in your bylaws. So you have to write down, or the president has to write down, the secretary has to write down the need for diversity in the mission statement, the need for inclusion in the vision statement, and the need for diversity and inclusion in the bylaws. It is important to write this information in the mission statement, in the vision statement, and in the bylaws because if you write it out and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. What that scripture is saying that when you write something out, when you make it plain, the people who are reading it will apply what they are reading. They will go out and make it happen because they are reading it over and over and over again. And as they are reading this information about the need for diversity and inclusion on the nonprofit board, it is imperative that they also go out and apply what they are reading. So they go out into the community and look for people of color, look for people with mental and physical disabilities that can be an asset and a benefit to the nonprofit board and committee. And I always like to put in the definition of diversity and inclusion just in case you or someone you know might not understand what those two words are. The definition for diversity, the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders and sexual orientations. The definition of inclusion, the practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized, such as those who have physical or mental disabilities and members of other minority groups. The benefits of having diversity and inclusion on your advisory board and nonprofit board is endless. But I will give you just a few reasons why it is so beneficial to your nonprofit and so beneficial to your board for it to be diverse and inclusive. Here are a few of those reasons expand knowledge, diverse histories, attract and retain best talent, inspire creativity, fosters innovation, and you have different experiences. So those are just a few of the reasons why it's so beneficial for you to have diversity and inclusion on your advisory board and your committees. I will wrap up this video with an amazing quote by President Barack Obama. He states, but our democracy might work a bit better if we all recognize that all of us possess values that are worthy of respect. And that means that everyone deserves a seat at the table. That quote means that everyone deserves an opportunity in positions of leadership on nonprofit boards and committees because everyone will bring value, will bring innovation, will bring different ideas and different opinions to the table that can only make the nonprofit successful and make the advisory council successful as well. 
Thank you so much for watching the Crystal Petrie Consulting Network. Stay social with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and comment down below. Let me know what you think about advisory councils. What do you think is the most important role of a nonprofit advisory council, a nonprofit advisory committee, or even a nonprofit executive board? Journey. Sit back, buckle up, enjoy the ride.